The GRI Office for Early Warning and Emergency Response gave a press briefing on Wednesday regarding the humanitarian situation in Tigray. The director for the office, Gabriel Xavier Aragawi, said that more than 40% of aid delivered into Tigray remains in warehouses in the regional capital due to an acute shortage of fuel that is practically bringing Tigray's humanitarian response to a near standstill. Of the 125,000 metric tons of aid that has so far reached the Grai, only 59,513 has been distributed, which amounts to just half of the aid. The rest, almost 14%, has simply moved from one warehouse in Adama to another in Magala. This is due to shortage in fuel. Aid had not been able to reach those that need it most. The director said that just a quarter of expected aid delivery has reached to Grai since the humanitarian truce was declared in late March, saying the volume of humanitarian assistance that was reaching to Grai is insufficient to address the needs on the ground. <laughs> The agreement was for 115 food trucks and 29 trucks carrying non-food items to reach Tigray on a daily basis. Each truck was expected to carry 40 metric tons of assistance, totaling 558,000 metric tons of assistance should have reached Tigray, but just 125,000 metric tons has reached Tigray so far. This amounts to less than 25% of the total aid expected, as a result the humanitarian situation remains bleak. Only unfettered access to humanitarian assistance can solve the problem on the Ground. The authority has also stressed that the delivery of non-food items to Tigray is far short of what is needed and that just 0.5% of the expected medical supplies and 2% of supplementary foods for children and nursing mothers have reached Tigray. <laughs> The amount of medical facilities reaching Tigray is 0.5% of what is expected to be delivered. This is why Tigray's health system remains disarray. The delivery of supplementary food for children and nursing mothers is less than 2%. We have 70 metric tons of supplementary foods in Magala, but we have yet to distribute due to shortage of fuel. The humanitarian situation in Tigray remains dire more than three months into Ethiopia's declaration of humanitarian truce in March, leaving millions on the brink of death.